In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Shape Builder tool so that we can make an, a shape that can be cut out on a laser and then turn into something that can be placed in this LED light base. So here's an example. I made this. It, it has LED lights and that you can remote you can control with a remote control or you can just have it go flashing like that. But in order to do that, there's a little slot down here that I need to create at the base of this shape right here. So in the last video, I showed you how to make a vector cut line. This is a very, very thin red line that's 0 0.001. And I need to make a base um, that would that would fit in that the slot of that LED holder. So I'm going to go to rectangle again and I'm going to build another rectangle. Now, this rectangle, I know that that base, the width of that base is going to be 3.4 oh, 3.149 inches. Although when I went to the measurements on Amazon, it was actually 80 millimeters. So if I do 80 millimeters, it should translate it into inches. So it did. So here's that shape right here. And it, it kept this line 0 0.001. So that is the thickness. Although for this video purposes, instead I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put this as a 0.1. Oh no, let's just do one so you can see it. So now you can see that I have my shape right here and then I have, here's the base. You can make this taller or smaller, but I think I'm just gonna guess. And if I were to send this to the laser cutter printer with the lines the, the right size, 0 0.001, it would make a cut around both of these rectangles. And I really need to get rid of this rectangle, I mean the line in between the two rectangles. So to do that, I will use the Shape Builder tool. I'm going to use my Select tool to select both rectangles. Select one, hold Shift, select the other. Then I go to the Shape Builder tool right here. It's on the left. Let's see, I don't know if I have, okay. I don't know if that's going to zoom in on the video or not, but that's the shape builder tool. And when I have those two selected, I can, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag my mouse to drag a line between the top shape and the bottom shape. It's going to connect the shapes. And when I let go, it's all one shape. Now, if I go to the select tool or click out of it so that you can see what it looks like, there's my shape right there. And in order to send it to the laser cutter, I'm going to have to select that shape. And I want the line to be 0 0.001. I'm going to press enter. Now you're going to see that it's a very, very faint line. So when it's sent to the laser cutter, it will do a vector cut around this. And it will do a raster engrave for the black image. And that is how you use the shape builder tool to create an irregular shape. 